Welcome to the Landscape Library's YouTube channel. I'm Jordan, founder of the Landscape Library and voice behind the tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, thelandscapelibrary.com, to read landscape-focused articles or enroll in our online courses teaching the top softwares for landscape design. If you have questions or comments, add them below and enjoy the video. If you look at anything in the real world, everything sort of has a line associated to it, whether it's an edge to a building, um, whether it's uh, separating colors or a wrinkle in a fabric, everything has a line. So if you were to, tr to draw that line on a piece of paper, that's essentially what we're doing in Rhino is we're drawing uh, lines. So to initiate a command in Rhino, there's two different ways to initiate commands. You can either type it in in Rhino or you can find the command in the icon. Now I suggest learning the commands or having the commands next to you that way you can just type it in quickly um, because once you know the commands it's faster to build in Rhino rather than going through all the different icons and trying to find where that um, where that is. So if we were to type in line you can see that uh, when I type in line everything associated with those four uh, letters comes up everything from insert line into curve. Um, but the most common one appears to the top unless you are typing out the entire line sequence. So if you type in line to initiate the command, you type or you press enter. And a cursor, the crosshair cursor will appear, but also there's different ways to draw lines. Um, sometimes we will use these. I will go through which commands we will be um, kind of manipulating some of these uh, sections up here. But for the most part, it's just a standard way to draw. And just to make sure that we are in the same drawing units, I wanna type in units. Box like this will appear, and this is where you can change your model units. Right now, I'm in millimeters. I'm going to change this to inches. You can change this to whatever you want. I actually prefer to draw in inches just because there's um, material associated with inches rather than feet. So for example, if I wanted to draw um, a four inch uh, you know, soldier course or a sailor course, instead of typing in 0.333, which is the um, it's the feet value in inches. So for example, four inches divided by 12 inches in one foot, that equates to 0.33. So I would rather just type in four inches. So I draw in inches and I'm gonna press okay. Now you can see that it will change the model from millimeter to uh, inch. I'm just gonna hit okay. And you can see down here, now I'm drawing in inches. So if I were to reinitiate the command line, enter, um, like I said, these four different boxes you can draw in uh, Rhino. I typically draw in top-down view first because I look at everything in a macro view. So I will be drawing in this top left-hand corner in top view, which is also plan view. And you can see how the cursors are changing in all the other ones. Now, when I click the left click, um, you can see that uh, all of these coordinates are changing down here. Essentially, when it comes to the coordinates, just like geometry, you have an X and Y value. Uh, in this perspective view, you can see that uh, Y is going, I'd say maybe north, X is going east and west, and Z is the value of up and down. So when I change these cursors, you can see that um, all of these coordinates, X, Y, and Z are changing. And this middle box down here, right now it says 181 inches. That's how long the line will be. Um, so we can uh, either do a few different things. So for example, we can lock this line in place with ortho mode and we can type in, for example, I'm gonna type in five inches. And when I press enter, um, AutoCAD, or um, sorry, Rhino is registering that this is a five inch line that I can complete the sequence whichever direction I want. If I turned off ortho mode, it'll follow the cursor. And the moment I left click this line to complete it, 
that's a five inch line. Um, and to go through the other commands here, like with OSNAP, if I wanted to quickly redraw another line, there's two different things that you could, three different things that you could do. You can either type in line, line again to initiate the command. You can right click on the mouse and it'll reinitiate the command. Or if you press spacebar, it'll uh, repeat the command again. And to get out of a command, just simply hit exit. Um, but I'm gonna press spacebar to get back into the command. So now that OSNAP is turned on, um, let's say I wanted to draw two separate lines to um, you know, draw maybe a deck or a pool or whatever it would be. There's different you know, options that we can do when it comes to OSNAP mode. So for example, because I have end selected, it's going to select the end of the line. If I turned off, if I turned off the uh, end point here, I will not be able to select the end point. The near one is basically anything on a line, um, whether it's like not major or not. And what I mean by major is the end, midpoint, or maybe a perpendicular. So for example, if I turned off near, it is only going to register the end, the midpoint, uh, and obviously the end again. So I'm gonna keep near checked. Uh, the point is referring to the end points, but for example, if I wanted to, um, snap to a point I can uh, draw just or place a single point here and if I use the line command typed in line you can just simply you know snap to this point but if I turned it off um, it's only gonna snap outside of it so these are the different things that you'll want to make sure that they're checked and to simply draw another line you can connect it to this line or you could draw to the um, snap to the midpoint line and draw a another line here and we could draw this to any point we want or any um, measurement we want so if we wanted this to be for example um, let's just say 20 feet so i'm drawing in inches so i the the native unit of measurement is inches so if i just typed in 20 enter that would rhino's registering that that's 20 inches but to draw in feet um, I will simply type in 20 with the tick mark to indicate feet, and it now has a 20 foot line. And we could double check the distance or the measurement of a line by typing in distance and um, selecting the two different lines here. We can see that it's five inches. I will right click to reinitiate the distance command. I'm going to just test the distance of this, and we could see that it's 240 inches, which is also 20 feet. So that is it for the line command. Like I said, um, we're going to go through the Google Sheets, and we're going to basically build up the commands. So the next one's going to be Polyline, which is a just has a little bit more extra, um, I would say, maybe resources or options to align. And... Um, it will be, all of these commands will be the fundament, fundamentals to build a landscape plan.